This is day four of the smoke filling the skies of the Carolinas, even parts of Tennessee and Georgia. It's all stemming from a wildfire in the mountains near Lake Lure. And that is where we find Katie Salt this evening. She has the latest on this fire and what the crews are doing to contain those flames. I didn't think it would be bad at all. It's a lot worse than I thought. Do you remember how long ago it was that you saw the fire that was this bad? <laughs> a long time ago. At least 20 years ago, maybe. It's not the view you typically see on the postcards for Lake Lore. Smoke billowing into the sky as a wildfire continues to burn. You could see it on down the road a lot further. And the wind speeds of 30 miles an hour aren't helping the nearly 20 fire crews fight the flames. We have a lot of wind coming in. We're trying to work to maintain the lines that we've already uh, established and just make sure that the wind isn't going to push the fire towards those and threaten any of those structures. The wind makes it hard to put up the helicopters and planes to dump water on the flames, so crews are working on the ground to create containment lines. 50 homes face evacuation today if the flames don't stay contained, and to try to prevent this, crews are fighting fire with fire. They're actually taking fire and lighting off towards the fire itself. So then that fire is not going to have any fuel to burn. That fire is going to meet our fire and keep moving the other way. At Lake Lore, Katie Solt, 7 News. Officials don't know yet what caused the fire Saturday. Fire crews are on 24 hour watches trying to make sure the flames don't jump the containment lines they've set. And if they do jump the lines, residents need to be ready to evacuate immediately.